book did you get? Some have To Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, it's one of my favorite books to read growing up. Still in terms of civil rights and just seeing uh, the character's name is Boo Radley, so it's kind of like Bradley in a way, so it's always like one of my favorite books. Kind of weird, but then some of them have Just Mercy as well, so it's kind of very similar books. Uh, we just seen Just Mercy the other day in the theaters. And, Unbelievable movie, so hopefully the book is just as just as good. So those were a few of the things, uh, the two books, a few sketchbooks because that's what I love to do in off time. Jerseys, gift cards. So it's just a bunch of bunch of essentials that you know I, I love to have, and you know I'm kind of sharing them with them. And then uh, for their achievements, you know, in the classroom, I bought everybody an iPhone. Yeah, I saw the, the way you reacted when he suggested college applications. How important it or I, mean, I guess what what about the timing of impacting people at, at this point in high school when obviously their whole lives are out of them? It's important, you know, because we live in a technical world now, so you know everything is done by computer or by iPad or phone and so you know some of them don't have laptops, some of them don't have access to computers all the time besides in school, so you know, for them to have a little mini iPad, they can just throw in a book bag on the way. You know, it's, it's beneficial to them, you know. And then on top of that, it's just basically a computer. You know, all they need is a keyboard and, you know, they're good to go. So, you know, it was just a, just a random thought I had. My wife thought about it too. It was just, you know, it was just, it was just perfect for the situation. How, how cool is that reaction when they lose their minds? It's the amazing, man, because they're appreciative. You know, it doesn't matter if I got them another pair of shoes this year or, you know, if I just got them my jersey. They don't. They'd have been satisfied and, and honestly, you know, thankful for it. So, you know, this means a lot to me more probably so than them. Um, you know, just to be able to see their reaction, see, you know, see how grateful they are. Because um, I know they'll take full advantage of it. Like, I challenged them in the classroom last year. And a lot of them have turned their grades around tremendously in, in, in this room tonight, too. So it's, it's special for everybody, for sure. Why this kind of an event? Like, dinner style, family style? Uh, I wanted to do something totally different, you know, a little bit more intimate and, um, you know, you know recognize and those who've been working their tails off in the classroom, you know, and granted it's a lot of athletes in here, but it's a, a lot of kids who aren't athletes too, you know, so we can't just neglect those who, you know, who have futures, you know, being doctors, being lawyers, and, you know, being other things than athletes, so it's, uh, you know, it's a reward to, the, to everybody in the school who, you know, puts the work in, you, you'll get rewards for it, so it's kind of like a, kind of like a challenge in a way, you know, you kind of bribe them, so to speak, to, to give your grades. Well, let's talk about the relationship that y'all have with these kids. You were having like talking about sports and their own stuff at the table. The relationship that y'all built is really special. I mean, it's, it's, I relate to him because I went to all boys school. And you know, I, I understand, you know, the cliche talks that they have, you know, as, as boys, and they always want to talk about girls all the time. And I was them before, so it's, it's, I'm just putting myself back in those shoes. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I just, our bond is just constantly growing. Like, I was with them when, you know, they were a first year of school. And now to see them have juniors and seniors, it's just, it's amazing to see, you know, how far a lot of these guys have grown um, from just constantly having a relationship with them and, and uh, I'm just excited to see the seniors be able to go to college next year and be able to start their lives uh, you know move doing whatever it is that they, they plan on doing I can't tell you guys you guys know I can't tell you but I definitely always have something up my sleeve for them you know I'm just constantly staying engaged with them uh, you know hopefully they'll come out to some games I want to go to one of their games as well a couple of them if I can and uh, you know just keep the, keep the relationship going you know definitely build around the city of D.C. a lot more, but, you know, this school in particular is, is definitely special to me. Would, sure. you, would you say that the relationship you have with Ron Brown and all the other things that you do in D.C. kind of play a factor into signing the extension in the summer? Oh, for sure. You know, I, I, I thought about it, you know, just thinking about the relationship I developed with some of these guys and, uh, and even the staff, Principal Williams and, and the coaching staff as well, just everybody, you know, they're, they're very respectful. I mean, I'm appreciative that they welcome me with open arms, um, you know, to trust me to be a mentor to their whole student body like that's it's kind of unheard of so um, you know I thought, I thought about it a lot in the process I won't say a lot I thought about it in the process but you know it was, it was definitely paid a factor for sure been in DC now for quite a while what would you say is your relationship with the city now I love it I love it here you know hopefully the love is you know mutual between you know the city and me but you know everything I've done you know from on the court and off the court you know I've embraced and I embrace this as my second home like I'm always going to be from St. Louis for sure, but, you know, D.C. is, I'm almost, 
telling people I'm from DC when they ask. Like, so it's this is this is definitely home for me. I'm happy to be here. You know, the community. I'm just all about giving back and just impacting the community. I know a lot of players, like young kids, wear your jersey, mm -hmm. but to know that you gave them this jersey that you have given them a lot, and they think of you as this role model. Does that mean like a little bit extra? For you? Oh, for sure. You know, because I think the biggest thing for me is just embracing it, embracing who you are, and just realizing what kind of impact that I actually can have. And, you know, it's kind of getting me out of my comfort zone because you know, I don't like to ride or pat myself on the back. But you know, when you realize the impact that you have with kids, and just giving them a jersey like that that means the world to them. Like I have, I wear a New Jersey every day, so like, to me it's like it's nothing, but to them it's, it's like it's everything. So uh, you know, it's just putting myself in their shoes. You know, realizing that you know if I had a role model who I seen every day, like what would I love to do? What can I pick his brain about? And, uh, it's been a great relationship, and you know it's been. It's the one I cherish and embrace for sure.